what is a bag of visual words. Bag of visual words refers to a technique that allows us to compactly describe images and to perform similarity queries. So for example, given a database of images, the bag of words approach can be used to efficiently find subsets of images that look similar, either among each other or with respect to a given query image. So how does that work? So the bag of visual words uses a set of image features as so-called visual words. It then describes the images by simply counting how often individual visual words appear in an image. So here's an example of a regular image. What we can do, we can extract key point locations at which we compute feature descriptors, such as SIFT features, and are shown over here. So let us illustrate the different visual words now with colored boxes. Each colored box means um, there is an occurrence of one visual word. Of course, this is a very simplified illustration here, just showing a few visual words. So in the end, each image is reduced to visual words and the actual pixel values do not matter anymore. So in bag of words, each image becomes an histogram, simply counting the occurrences of the visual words within this image. So the x-axis of the histogram defines the visual words, while the y-axis of the histogram tells us how often the individual visual words appear in an image. A visual word can be a single feature. Most approaches, however, will use the mean feature descriptor computed from several similar descriptors as a visual word. That means we are grouping visual features together into one word. And this grouping is typically computed using a clustering algorithm such as k-means. The visual words that result from the clustering are called the dictionary and they are a list of visual words and they define the x-axis of all our histograms. So each image in our database is turned into such a histogram so that we need to store m histograms instead of m images in our database. And then all comparisons are reduced to computing the similarity between histograms and we are not considering the actual images anymore. There is however an issue with this approach because in practice some visual words are good for performing such a comparisons while others are less expressive. So for example, if you have a word which occurs in every image, it will not be of great support for making comparisons. So we can fix this issue by computing a weight for each visual word, depending on the expected information it is going to convey. So important visual words are ranked higher and others are lower. And this is done using the so-called TFIDF. TFIDF stands for Term Frequency Inverse Document Frequency and is shown over here. The first term in this equation is the relative occurrence of a word in an image. Thus it is our histogram just normalized to one. This term is then multiplied with the logarithm of the inverse percentage of images in our database that contain the word at all. This will bring the importance of words that appear in every image down to zero. Other, more rarely occurring words are enhanced. So TFIDF will reweight each bin of each histogram individually and um, so that expressive visual words will be enhanced. We perform this TFIDF computations on all histograms in our database and now we are ready for comparing images in the database, either among each other or with respect to a query image. So let's consider a small example with four images shown over here. In this example, image number zero and image number three are similar to each other. By looking into the uh, cost matrix of the histograms, we can see that each histogram compared with itself has a distance of zero and all other comparisons lead to higher values. Actually, not all of them. Here we also see that image number zero and image number three have a distance of zero, which means they have um, the same distribution of reweighted features and thus they are considered to be similar or maybe even identical. In the bag of words model, we typically compare those histograms using the cosine distance, which takes values between 0 and 1. So in order to find the n most similar images in a database given query images, we will return the n images which have the smallest cosine distance. And that's basically it. That's how we find similar images. So the bag of words approach is frequently used in computer vision for finding similar images. Also in robotics, it's used for performing place recognition tasks or for finding loop closure candidates in the context of the SLAM problem. If you want to investigate the back of visual words approach further, I suggest you to visit the Jupyter notebook that was created by Olga Wisotska and which is available on GitHub. 
It's a great starting point for understanding the effect of the TF-IDF and also the distance functions. In this video, I used here illustrations to make my video look nicer, so thank you very much for allowing this.